amazing to see all your shining young faces on this auspicious day. I am Dr. Volumnia Gall, your humble head game maker in charge of the War Department and all its affiliated concerns. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves, Dean Casca Highbottom. I have summoned you all here today for the 10th Annual Reaping Ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district to throw into the Capitol Arena to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. I am here to tell you that there has been a change this year. One final assignment to prove your worth. It's a story that takes place 64 years before the first installments of the movies and focuses on young Snow. Look at you. Your makeshift shirt and your two tight shoes trying desperately to fit in when I know the Snows don't have a pot to piss in. Snow is being groomed to become the man he becomes. As a mentor, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. Persuade them to perform for the camera. Lucy Gray, the one who Snow becomes the mentor for and also falls in love with, there's a very naturalistic quality to her, but she's a charmer, she's a musician, she's a performer, she's kind of the anti Katniss. She's part of the Covey, this kind of roving band of musicians. Snow's never met anybody like her. That romance between them makes Snow question everything he was raised to believe. I think there's a natural goodness born into us all. No, really. You can either cross that line into evil or not. And it's our life's work to stay on the right side of that line. Part of the love story starts to fall apart, and that is part of the creation of who he becomes. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Most everybody that I work with is coming back. Trish Somerville is doing the costumes for this movie. Joe Willems, who shot Catching Fire, The Mocking Jays. The one new person that I'm really excited about is Uli Hanish, who's the production designer. We talked about the sort of look and the feel of the movie. The visuals of this movie will be very different than Mockingjay, but there's real consistency in terms of the capital architecture. We get to sort of reinvent the world of Panem, to sort of deconstruct what the games are that we're sort of used to and go back in time. It wasn't until I read it that I saw how much music was actually in here. And we met with Dave Cobb. He's a fantastic songwriter and producer. It's gonna be fun to take all this history of British Isles music and Southern music and mash it all together in this dystopian way in this future. James Newton Howard, it's my fourth Hunger Games film with him. The musical opportunity is great. Relationships are very powerful in the movie. The good and the bad are very clearly laid out. For James and I, it was really fun to explore a new sound for The Hunger Games. Sometimes it's foot stomping and rousing, and sometimes it's haunting, mysterious, and a lot of that is based on the kind of period of the movie itself. But there's gonna be some familiar elements as well. Hanging Tree is back in a completely different iteration and treatment. Here, we get to see Lucy Gray coming up with it for the first time. Are you, are you coming to the tree where I told you to run so we'd both be free? Strange things did happen here No stranger would it be If we met up at 